Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to our channel. I am Rauf Yaseen and in this video I will show you how to save this information into our database. So if you are a, a new viewer then please watch previous video so that you can understand what is going on, going on here because this is not a uh, single tutorial. Uh, it is a playlist based tutorial. So in the previous video we have loaded roles from our roles table into this form. Now we will perform save information operation okay so if i double click on this save information button over here this is getting save button and if i go to my roles because i have already told you i will not uh, do the same thing again and again i'll do not waste your time so i'll copy information from there save information and let me copy this one and i'll paste it over here i'll customize this one I think I should only do at the time right now I should only require this code so I'll write else by myself so that you can understand so this is our button click first of all I'll check for validation is form valid and I'll create an, another function then control dot generate new method so over here I'll write data entry validations so I'll paste code insert code here I'll explain you but let me copy validation code so that I can reuse that code so inside our validation function uh, first I want to validate user name because username is required so i'll set username is required and then username text box dot focus and then i'll also set username length username length and i also specify this one next i'll validate password so copy this one and paste it over here and set this one as password copy this one and paste it again over here and remove this one as password and password okay and the next validation i will perform is for this combo box okay so open up and instead of using this time I'll use this one and I'll change little bit because I don't want to validate the length we're getting value from our database I wanna validate user to select uh, any user so I'll set roles combo box dot selected index is equals to minus one if user doesn't select any role from there then this error message will be displayed please select user role from drop down and then i'll set focus to this one okay this is all about data entry validation and you can verify this one we're getting an error somewhere because we have copied this code let me cut out this code from here okay so currently we have only calling a validation function start again if I click on save information username is required if I write something over here then password is required and password look at this we are writing password in a character but we will hide this information in a minute and then if I click it's working fine because user is by default selected so let me change the default behavior of this text box to password so right click and go to properties and set this property use system password character to true now if you start your application again and write over here look at this our information is hidden okay so next i'll do our validation is working now i'll do insert operation so paste that code over here so look at this we are creating connection to our sql database and we're passing connection string then we have this store procedure but we don't have this one so remove 
and remove these parameters remove these lines as well okay so we will write parameters over here and then we are opening the connection and we are executing command so over here i'll specify user is successfully saved in the database so before proceeding i'll write store procedure then we will use parameters over here so go to programmability store procedure right click new new store procedure and this time we will write store procedure for inserting our user so create procedure usp users insert new user and over here i'll specify the parameters and then as begin and end so we want to store information on this users table so right click on this one go to script and insert into clipboard and i'll paste it over here so let me get rid of all of this and copy all of this from here and paste it over here because i will set up my parameters you can vertically select by holding shift and alt key and then selecting by using right arrow and then click on down arrow now set at the rate and then after this i will remove this brackets from here and we don't need this created date because we will fetch date from sql server and next i'll specify the data types before specifying data types let me copy this one and paste it over here okay so remove this go keyword as well and insert into user username password role id is active description created by and we will specify this created date as get date function which will fetch current date and time from sql server database and specify the data types as well and watch or 50 then and watch or 50 and then role id as an int and is active as a bit and then description as an and watch or 50 and finally and watch or 50 i am fetching this information from this table you can see username and watch of 50 and watch of 50 and also remove this one from here so this is our insert store procedure you can also let me re resize this one paste it over here tab so these are the parameters which are coming from our desktop application okay so these are the parameters then as begin and we are using simple insert statement insert into users table and specifying columns and after this we are specifying values which are coming as an parameter and and simple as that now i'll click on execute button over here and you can see commands executed successfully now i'll copy this one and paste it over here so this is our sql command after this i'll also copy this these parameters so can i i can easily remember this one copy little bit and paste it over here and also paste this parameters so first parameter we will be using is this username so this username will come from username text box dot text dot trim and the next parameter will come from password text box dot text dot trim and after this we will use role id roles combo box dot text dot trim and next i will copy is active checkbox dot value we don't have any value so i'll use if condition over here so i'll use ternary operator instead of writing complete if else block dot checked 
if this checkbox is checked or not i'll simply pass checked dot instead of using ternary operator uh, is active checkbox dot check so if this text box is checked this will save true value in the database and if it is not checked then it will save a false value in the database and then we will need this description parameter we already have that one and after this we have this created by and we also specified this one over here and get rid of that one so after these parameters we are opening the connection and we are executing command and we are displaying user is successfully saved in the database after this i'll generate this method so control dot and generate method I'll reset all of my controls so username text box dot clear password text box dot clear and then roles combo box dot selected index equals to minus one I want to select the default index and then instead of minus one we can specify zero this administrator as in default index first index by default selected then i wanna set is active checkbox dot checked equals to true i wanna select is active checkbox by default so every time we will insert users its checkbox is by default checked and then i will set description text box dot clear and we are good to go if you start an application look at this this is not checked by default so we want to set this as checked uh, here i am setting after saving information i am calling this reset from controls and it will be automatically checked but by default it should also check so right click go to properties and here is the checked property set it to true done if you start again and write username as an admin then password as an admin and then select administrator role and we don't need this description it is not required for it click on save information we are getting some exception so let's error converting data type and watch or to int so we are not specifying oops i have used role id as an integer and i am specifying text so we should because this is the foreign key which should should use value member remember value member in the previous video i have told you that this value member will be saved as an foreign key in the user's table so i'll specify roles combo box dot selected value instead of text or selected index we'll specify a selected value then admin admin then active and click on save button over here user is successfully saved look at this our form is again uh, cleared but its focus is not set it this focus should be on this text box and you can see this is by default checked let me add one more user john password and then let me set it as power user and get rid of this and save okay look at this our form is re, uh, clear and this text uh, this checkbox is automatically checked and only thing we should do we after calling this uh, reset form controls our username should get focused and we can also verify our inserted user into this table right click and select top 1000 rows look at this admin admin role id 1 is active 1 description is empty created by ad, admin and we are fetching current date and time from database and you can verify role id 1 and role id 5 because we are saving selected value from our combo box okay so we have successfully performed our insert operation in the next video you can see we are saving a password as in text into this table but we should uh, save this information as an encrypted format so in the next video we'll discuss how to perform strong md5 encryption using c sharp and cryptography classes so that our password is strongly encrypted and it will become hard to 
decrypt, decrypt that password and if our database is, is hacked some way, somehow then user will not be able to see this information so we'll in, do in, encryption in the next video take care of yourself Allah Hafiz we'll meet again bye inshallah Allah Hafiz Assalamu Alaikum